My name is Maya Santangelo, and I am an undersea specialist for Lindblad Expeditions National Geographic. I am a professional scuba diver and marine biologist and total ocean nerd. My job entails getting to go diving in some of the most remote places on the planet, film the coolest things I can find, and bring that back to the surface for other people to see things that would otherwise be out of sight and out of mind. Diving in Antarctica is essentially sort of the extreme sport of diving. It requires a heck of a lot more gear than anywhere else in the world, depending, of course, how long you want to dive for and how warm and comfortable you want to be. Warm is a little bit of a relative term, diving in Antarctica, but after all that time putting on all those layers to get ready, we switch our camera on, we switch our dive lights on, we finally roll into the coldest waters on the planet, and we see what we can find. This planet is a blue planet. It is covered by more than half water. We wouldn't be able to exist if it weren't for the ocean. Many people come here with the expectation and the excitement to see, you know, probably a couple things at the top of their list, maybe penguins, ice, maybe a leopard seal. But that's the coolest thing about this place is everything that we see above the surface in this area are connected to the ocean in some way, shape or form. So getting below the surface and seeing the diversity and the color and the life that is able to survive in this place is really special. So it's so important and so special to be able to show that. This is a really beautiful other world that we have on our own planet. Something that is fascinating and important and worth caring about. Probably my favorite dive of all time I've ever done in Antarctica is diving on the shipwreck of a Norwegian whaling vessel called the Guvenoren, which sunk in 1915. It's a really interesting reminder and relic of the huge whaling industry that was happening in the Southern Ocean really recently. It's a really, really humbling experience to see bones of blue whales all over. It's a pretty impactful dive. And then in the afternoon, we barely went around the corner and we had the most whales I have ever seen in my life. Uh, we were literally surrounded by humpback whales. And this is an animal that was less than 100 years ago driven to commercial extinction and has now reached what is estimated to be pre-whaling numbers. And so it's an incredible example of what marine life and any life can do and recover if we give it a chance. Having that experience getting people out to see things up close and personal is just that opportunity to sort of pull people through the looking glass and open their eyes to a world that they may otherwise not have been able to connect with. All I know is that whatever steps and career paths that I follow, I want it to be things that have a lasting impact and so that's why I love this job so much because I get a chance to show people things that they otherwise would not have known existed and so at the end of the day if I can inspire one person on board to think about how they interact with the world in a different way and maybe change something that they do in their everyday life then I've done my job. <laughs>